Marcus. Hey guys, happy Monday. Happy Monday. Hudson's here. Hudson's here. Carlos here. We have a special live stream today. We're gonna do the classic puzzle, classic camera puzzle. 550 pieces. Boop. Hudson got a treat already. Hey, Fenwick's first right off the stick. This was given to us by our wonderful supporter, Dolly Girl Twins. Yeah, Dolly and Girl Twins in New York. Through. We put it on our rental car and we brought it down to Florida because we said we want to do this puzzle because check it out. Look at the back of it. It's like you a want camera. to show it's yeah. all these classic cameras. Here, I'm going to come around. Guys, look at this. All classic cameras. 550 pieces, Eurographic puzzle. It comes in a metal tin. A collector's tin. Hey, Ridgewood 237, nice seeing you. Again, here's the lens. I'm gonna have to add a new playlist. I'm gonna make a puzzle playlist. Puzzle playlist, look at how cool what this do you is. Think of that, right? Yeah, it's beefy. It's really cool. Very, very cool puzzle. It looks just like a little camera. This would make a cool handbag afterwards, too. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't it? You know, you just drill a hole or two, put a leather. It'll be a nice little uh, carry-all, right? Like a pochette. Yeah, like Welcome a pochette. Welcome aboard Ridgewood 237, Fenn West. Hope everyone had a nice weekend. Hold on, Hux. We're going to be doing a spot of trivia today. Not too much. I got some uh, interesting ideas with the trivia. I, I, I guess. They may go somewhere. They may go nowhere. I just made it official. I made it, I created a new playlist because we've been doing a lot of puzzles. And including um, the Blondie, Debbie Harry puzzle from Marjolein. Yep. Hey, Rosalind just, Brown, Nick G. We just finished the Corvette puzzle. Should I bring that out? Because that was, yeah, a, show them. That was a big one. Sit, 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 sit. Hey, sit. Ronnie C. Nice seeing you again. There goes Carla. Guys, today's Monday, February 27th, second to last day, the penultimate day of February. Hope you all had a great weekend. It's down here, it's been a record-breaking February heat. Look at this. These are some of the puzzles that we've done. Yeah, no, we'll see. Uh, yeah, this thanks for popping. We have a broccoli tree. puzzle too. That's we have New York. Uh, Debbie Harry. Debbie Harry. This was gifted Mick to Rock us photo by puzzle. by Marjolein from the Netherlands. Now this is the puzzle that we just finished. This was just a, finished. a thousand pieces. Yep. Hey, it William was really Shayon. Complicated. Joe it's Taylor. Our Corvette puzzle. Our Wendy. And it has Corvettes from 1953 to 27, 2015 models. Nice, yeah. Those and are it gave cute. the specs for all the cars. So yeah, there's really, all writing in there. Really awesome puzzle. Like yeah. gave the power, the body style, the engine, oh. the, how, how many um, units of production was in each one. Yep. So today it's going to be about the classic camera. Hey, Sharon L. Welcome back. So you see, we, Wendy. we glued this one. We, yep. we have puzzle glue and we glued this one. So we can do that with the Corvette puzzle. I, nice. just, I haven't hey, had a Nick chance G's to saying glue it. Karen's dad has a C6 Corvette. Oh, is that on here? Look, look at Hudson's looking for it. Yeah. Here's the C5. Yeah, let's look for the C. Here's, here it is. There it is. There it is, Nick G. C6, Why don't 2005, you read about it? V8. 400 horsepower. 400 horsepower, coupe and convertible. Nice. Yeah, that's a nice one. Production, how many did they make? 20, what was that, 26,000? I can't, yeah, 26, 7, 2, 8. Nice, yeah, I need that light on for you anyway. So, okay. that's... so I'm going to take this away. Nice. So just in case, now I... Hey, I, Roma food, yeah, Ferrari's always up there. I'm going to create, um, I created a new puzzle playlist. Yeah, it's rare, I would imagine. I imagine it's rare in the UK, Nick G. Hey, Greg B, Carol popping in with the Hudson Burger emoji. Thanks for that, Carol. DNX popping back in. Good boy, Hutch. Ciao to you, Roma Foods. Roma Food. Jacob Dando popping in. Welcome to see you all. Happy, hope you had a nice weekend, Children's World. We're doing good. Hope you're having a nice Monday. And here we go again. Guys, we have tons of puzzles we've been sent by channel supporters, such as yourself. And uh, we really love doing them. This is a metal. Classic. Classic camera puzzle. Look at it. I want to show it again. It looks like it's going to be absolutely a so, uh, I'm gonna get joy started. to build. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna, we're going to move Hudson. Yeah, I want to show you. Bed. Open this up. Hudson, here, I'm going to throw a treat over on his pizza bed. Okay. Boop. Hudson, go to your bed and get your treat. There's Hudson's pizza bed, which draped by DJ E. Plasm, and that's draped over the Bonnie Bon Bon bed. Any dentist in the house, see it side and side 12 back in there. Nice job. Okay, so guys, let me... Um, HC oh. teacher up in Nick G up in George, up in the moderator booth. So let me open the this. The dream team. 
the A team. I, I mean, it's such, it's so beautifully wrapped too. Yeah. So I'm gonna open it up. Here we go. Alan, homie, food and fun. It's Alan Goodman from New York. I changed the name of my YouTube account. Oh, oh hey, welcome Alan. aboard, Alan Goodman. Look at this. Look, 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 look. Carlos looking amazing. Lisa Hopper said. Yeah, look at that. Oh, oh. cool. See, so that's why I said it make a cool little handbag. Oh my God, check it out. Wait, there's a poster inside. <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh, thanks, HC teacher. Just nice having wow, you around. This is the. This is what the. Ski deeds. This our is rescue what we're be building. on standby, ready to rescue us from the Everglades. Ski Deeds is in here. Look at that. That's what we're going to be making. That's what we're doing, guys. And we have a couple of these. We'll be oh, talking I'm about them. Oh, I'm loving it. Yeah, look, you could drill a hole in each side and get a little leather thing. And you carry it on, no, on your. For on your, Hudson! Yeah, for oh. Hudson. Yeah, guys, a, an idea is spawned. Spawned. Whatever you want to say. Nathan Jones in the house. Look at this. Thanks for nice seeing Yay. you and Nathan Jones. Look yeah, awesome gift from Dolly Girl Twins. We can put Hudson. We can put rolls of film in here. Yeah. We can put Hudson treats in here. Hudson treats. Look, he loves it. <laughs> it's perfect. Yeah, right around his neck. <laughs> oh, look like the barrel for a Saint Bernard. Yeah, it's a false camera, Children's James, World. Like it the looks real. For a Saint Bernard. Look yeah, that. look, he loves it. Oh, he loves it. Perfect. Hey, Huds. Huds, say hi to all your fans. Hudson, say hi to all your fans. Yeah, hi. Yeah. Stuart Bryce in the house. Give him another treat. Let me get him another treat. Oh, get him a little, um, yeah, is Marjolene know. in the chat yet? Oh, Marjolene. This is Marjolene got him these tasty minis. Here we go. Marjolene. Here, take a couple and pitch them to Hudson. Okay, you ready? Oh, Here he loves go. them. Because remember, he wasn't hungry when we did the unboxing. He wasn't hungry for them. And now he's loving them. Let me yeah. give him a couple more. Hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. These are the tasty minis. He loves the Marjolene. Yeah, love him. Look at this. All right, here we go. James is all over the place. <laughs> nice. Nice job, Huds. He snagged it. Okay, ready? Huds? Yep. Boop. Boop, boop. Okay, here's some more. Yeah, when he's later. ready. Okay, so let's start. Yeah. What do you think, James? Yeah. I like how it comes in a Ziploc baggie. Yep. Guys, we're just letting everybody kind of shuffle into the chat. We'll be starting. In about a half hour, the trivia, give you guys a little break to get in here. So, Beach Bum 88, love anything photography, along with you three as a host. Thanks, Beach Bum 88. So guys, what I do when, whenever, you know, I'm the, the puzzle queen. Diana Maria in the house. Puzzle queen, right, James? Yep, puzzle is queen. Is I start getting the, the um, border first. So yep. if you want to help me in getting any of the straight pieces to do a border. Let me do that. George in the house, up in the moderator, Ski Deeds. Excited for trivia. Yeah, we got it all pumped up. Children's World thought it was a real camera. It Here, did look real. I'm going to start handing you edges, okay? And, and then just flipping keep on some flip, of these over. Flip them over. Yep. Flip them. Flip them. First you box it, then you ship it. Flip it real good. Do, 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 do. Lots of luck, smart ass. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Flip it real good. Guys, we have a trivia today. We had a nice weekend. Oh, I found another corner. I, I've been finding some corners, James. Yep. Now be careful because you see some I of know. them are, are, I know. are tricksy. I know. Guys, we, ha we uh, had planned this weekend to live stream at the... Uh, Street Painting Festival in, in Lake Worth. I can't remember that name, Lake Worth. Lake Worth. And we got there. We got there. And... We checked our internet and we and it was thousands of people. I mean, I couldn't believe how many people were are, are trying to um, to you know to walk around there. And there was absolutely zero internet on AT and T or um, T Mobile. We tried both carriers. Tried and both. Zero service. Hey, Blue Star, happy Monday, right? Not just you. spotty service, but zero yeah. service. Dwayne Rodica, Rodica, popping back in. Hey, Dwayne, I had it. Um, I like photography and I remember when I learned how to develop black and white film. Yes. Yeah, Dwayne Wallicott. That's a Look great at this. Time. I already got one. Hudson's I... right here, Gummy Bear. He was up earlier. He got a bunch of treats. James, I already got one. Uh, I already got one. My little homie's right next to me. James, I already got three. ARB in the house. James, I already I, I already began. 
watch replay for Sunday stream too. I was at my granddaughter's dance competition. Nice. Oh, that's nice. That's HC teacher. That sounds fun. That sounds like a nice weekend. Melissa Whitby, back in the chat. Look at this. I got some already. Yeah, Carla's cooking with gas. It's kind of small for me to do from this side. It's going to be a little tough for me to... Yeah, but you're just flipping them over for yeah. me, right? I'm just... flipping it. I flipped the script, guys. Guys, we're going to be starting trivia in just a couple minutes. James is just helping me locate the... Yeah, I'm trying uh... to get Carla started a little bit. I appreciate it. You know, get some... Uh... Wind Look beneath her wings. And so this is speak. this is how this is the puzzle right here. Yeah, that's the puzzle. So you can look at it and refer to it. Right. Busy, busy times for J and K. We're having fun. Yeah, guys. New York State snowstorm due to start in 15 minutes. Gummy Bear, keep us up to date. Jack Rab, saying hi everyone on a cold, rainy day in dreary Erie. Nice, Jack Rab. Thanks for popping into the chat clubhouse. Shake your jacket off. Hang it up and kind of. Hang join out. Us. Yeah, join us. Nothing but warm weather down here. We're breaking records. Breaking records. February was record warmth down here in Florida. Let me tell you, right now it's 88 degrees out. 88 degrees outside, Balmy guys. Balmy 88 degrees. Wow. This looks like it's going to be, you know. No, no, that's a good one. I'm loving it. Yeah. No, I'm saying not easy. But that's what you don't you want. You don't want an easy puzzle. Right. We want silly. a challenge. Yeah. We're up for the challenge. Yeah. Turn right up to the challenge of our rivals. The yeah. last known survivor. Is that Eye of the Tiger? The yeah. Eye survivor. Of the tiger. Hey, Ed Pocket popping in. Welcome aboard. Yep, Gummy Bear saying, okay, James, I'll have my people contact your people. I'm Frida's boss. And who are you? Uh -huh, I'm Frida's boss. And who's Frida? Oh, my secretary. <laughs> and wait a minute, you are again? Uh, well, I'm Frida's boss. Rocky, I'm the tiger. Cool. Now, I'm going to label today's tri trivia. And uh, today's the 27th. We mailed out some stuff, didn't we, hon? We did. We mailed out some uh, to our trivia winners. We're not done yet. So, but be on the lookout if you've won a trivia contest. Yeah, you'll because be. Because you will be receiving your prizes in the mail. Yes. We did mail out our first batch of prizes. There, there is more, there's more, you know, on its way. Guys, today's trivia question. Hey, Sharon L. popping in an hour west of Binghamton. And no snow yet. No snow, Sharon okay. Sharon on Snow Watch. Bomber Gators in the house. I wish I was there in Florida, not looking good for New York City, 43 and snow coming. Ah. Yeah, bombing game. In Manhattan, too? or What just... happened to the car puzzle? Oh, we just showed it, Ed Pake. We finished. We finished it. Sylvester Stallone wanted to use another one bites the dust for Rocky Three, but Queen said no. Oh, and I didn't know that. And went with the Tiger instead. See, that's why I have the best chat on YouTube, Gummy Bear, throwing out the, the facts. Guys, today, some of the questions, I'm going to try something. James, you didn't know more. Um, I'm, I'm finding them. I'm going to try something a little left of center today. Oh, well, left of center. Against you know the grade Suzanne Vega. Suzanne Vega. Hanging in the outskirts. In the wind. Left of center. Out of the. Yeah. Suzanne Vega. We're fans of Suzanne Vega. You know that. Now, we're going to pull some questions. We're going to try. From a book called Emily Post's Etiquette. First published in probably, let me see if it says here when it was first published. Emily Post's Etiquette, 1873. No, that's when she, Emily Post lived from 1873 to 1960. It was first published in 1922. Wow. Etiquette in society, business, politics, and at home. Hmm. Oh. So that's what we're going to get tucked into today. I'm going to start. So this, James, would you say what, what way, like, is there an indication on here 
what way they, they... Yeah, Wendy, 1922 is incredible, isn't it? Hey, Bellis Estrella, go ahead, hon. Ski deeds. Would you, would you say that this would be the top then? This yeah. is how we're going to do this puzzle. Babar. How many bees? Yes, but not right together. The babar. You know, uh, Fletch. We're going to hold it like this. This is how it's going to be held. See, look, look, I've already started putting it together. Do you nice see the job, sheaves? Huh? Yep. Can you move oh, it to Oh, I see that there's there. abutment ones. Uh -oh. oh. Do you see that? Those make it tough. That's what we like. Yeah. But, Guys, but this is from uh, this is, this from, is from Dolly Girl Twins. Wonderful channel supporter Dolly Girl Twins. And you know Dolly Girl Twins from the 8-track tape player in the boombox. Huge channel supporter. She's great, great. She's down the gauntlet for Yeah, us. this is a tough one. We're going to tackle it. Here we go. Hey, Dave Jeffrey. Guys, first question of the day comes from Emily Post's Etiquette, written in 1922. If cocktails are served when having company, dinner should be planned for how much later than the cocktails being served? How long do you have to wait for dinner? If you're having a party, your guests are there. Your guests are there. It's cocktail hour. Okay. At how much longer should you wait to start dinner? One hour, T.A. Tickler. Oh, Sharon L. got it, an hour. Huh. Wow. wow. Yeah, I heard about the alligator in Prospect Park, and it had a, a tub stopper in its stomach. Beach Bum 88. <laughs> All right, we heard about that. The first person to get an hour was Sharon L. Okay, Sharon L on the scoreboard already. Yeah, we're not doing a Lego today, Sergio Fernandez. We're doing a. We'll we're be doing, doing some... Lego again, but we have we've gotten tons of puzzles as a gift. From Sharon our L, wonderful channel supporters. Sharon L, first one on the board today with one. One hour. Sharon L, one point. Guys, we're off and running. Off and running. Emily Post's etiquette. We're going to stick with home entertaining. Sharon said an hour, not one hour. No, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Hour. Yeah. Yeah, no. One hour or hour is the same thing. There's no end, S on the end. Right. Sharon Elgott. Right. T.A. Tickler. That one's in dispute, and I say no. Sharon L gets <laughs> One hour is an hour. Correct. So we have to start. We do have Seinfeld questions we here have to too. We like move these like away and up yeah. too. I'll get them off the, the board here and start flipping them all over. Guys, if Emily Post goes nowhere, we have other trivia planned. Don't right, worry. don't worry. Yeah, if this ain't your thing, if you say, oh, Jesus. You know. I don't know anything about etiquette. 1920. But a lot of them still, you know. Applicable today. Yeah. Right, don't think because it's old school that Save it's not. Save some for Mr. Manners. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's still applicable. It is. Yes. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Oh, just, you know. Guys, let's see. Here, here we go. Manners never go out of style. Wendy couldn't, I couldn't have said it better. <laughs> True that. Guys, let's say you invite people over for dinner, but you're not having a cocktail hour. Okay. You invite people over. You invite people over for yep, dinner. But drinks are not being served. Okay. How many minutes after the written time on the invitation is it acceptable to serve dinner if drinks weren't served? Oh. James, I think I'm gonna Jack need Rab? I'm gonna need some more. Keep on looking for uh, end pieces for me if yep. you don't mind. James. 
Hey, Keith Havens, thanks for popping in today. If you get an invitation that says dinner at 8, what time should you start actually serving food? Do not see a correct answer yet. Jack Rab, there will be evil people in the chat trying to figure out how to put a light kit in this jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> yes. yes. HC teacher got it 20 minutes. So when you say dinner is at 8, you start serving at 20 after. Okay. That lets people, according to Emily, according to Emily, that allows late arrivals a moment of relaxation. Okay. That's um, you know, HC teacher on the board, an hour and a half. Keith Haven. Yeah, it's like the Michael Scott uh, Christmas party. Remember, hunt at the condo. Oh my God, the Michael Scott Christmas party. Oh my and God. Pam. And she's like, she, she, she didn't even, oh, James, I'm going to need my water. When the you... roast needs another two and a half hours. <laughs> it's like, I remember that. Yeah. Thank here's you, Here's some James. water. Oh, guys, serenity now, Ski DG. You know, hey, TDP. Yes, George, that's what I'm going to, I'm getting, I'm working through party planning here. Party people. How long does Emily Post say is acceptable to wait for a late guest? Oh, okay. KCAK813. Like before you just say you give up on them. Like you're not going to, like if you're serving dinner or something, you're not going to be waiting for them or, or anything like that. Yep. No, you can do more than one guest, guys. 15 minutes is absolutely right. Ridgewood 237 and Stephanie Stearns. Wow. And TA Tickler. They Three know way tie. Three-way tie, Ridgewood 237, hang on. They know their etiquette. Yeah. James, our chat knows their etiquette. T.A. Tickler, and there was one more, uh, was a three-way tie. They know their etiquette. Yeah. What can we say? Uh, Stephanie Stearns, moderator extraordinaire, Stephanie Stearns. Also knows her etiquette? Yep, up in the moderator booth. Gets a point. Okay. Stephanie Stearns on the board. Hey, Brenda Nelson. Mammoth, California got 10 feet of snow in two days. Wow. wow, Brenda Nelson, that is absolutely. Hey, Nick G, have a good night rest. Thanks for popping in earlier. Congrats on the new driving vehicle. Extra when I good. lived in Germany, I was scolded for being late by two minutes, T.A. Tickler said. Wow. Yeah, they're very precise there, except the trains. <laughs> we traveled to Germany and we were expecting... Right, we were told that, that the trains are like uh, spot on. Uh, and ours was late, like every so time. late. like the Hour and a half late. Yeah. Getting that into, like, uh, into uh, Munich. No, like, oh my God, like what's... If this is... Um, yep, here's another edge one, huh? Thank you. So you start the puzzle and you're like, oh, this looks like it'll be tackleable. But then you don't realize it's tough. It's no, no, tough it's puzzle. good. It's good though. Yeah. Yeah, snow in California, unprepared. My aunt and uncle are old school. Etiquette is something I learned at a young age from them. Sharon L says. Yeah, Sharon L, we had to learn this stuff for school, kind of. All right, here we go. What do you got? All right, I'm coming. Hang on. What's the dealio? What's this? This line here. Name. Here we go. Name a reason that is acceptable for breaking a dinner engagement. 
according to Emily Post. A death. Oh, I, I, I'm not supposed to be saying no. these things. Keith Haven's got it. No, I'm sorry, Keith. I'm going back up. Stephanie Stearns and Ridgewood, 237, tied for first. Illness, the first acceptable answer. Stephanie Stearns and Ridgewood. They're on the board with two points each. Very good, guys. They said, here's what Emily says, honey. I want to know the exact, the exact thing. Don't accept an invitation. Okay. If you don't care about it enough to show up. Hmm. Illness or unavoidable accident. The only two reasons. Okay. It's acceptable to break a dinner engagement when someone has prepared dinner. Okay. That's fair. fair that enough. sounds reasonable. Fair enough. Right, James? Yeah. Fair enough. Yep. That's just the most extreme of illness. <laughs> T.A. Tickler. I guess we can give death. Right, well that's what I said even. T.A. Tickler gets death. T.A. Tickler, you're the third one. And there you go. Ski Deed says a bad cook. <laughs> that makes good sense. People should say no more often. Exactly, Brie Grams. Right, just don't, you know, be willy-nilly in your acceptance. Someone like me, who has their best friend Carla next to him, a good book in Hudson. Usually you have to dynamite him to get out of the house. He just likes to sit with Carla in Hudson and read. <laughs> That's just a, Carla's more of a uh, social butterfly. Yeah. Got to be honest, right? I keep it real. Is, keep this keep a, is this a corner? Yes. I'm going to start pulling some of these off the board for you and flipping them over. Thank you. Nick always shows up with a bottle of ketchup to a dinner party, George is saying. We will be etiquette worthy after this. Exactly. Bad cook, Ski Deeds is awesome. Ski Deeds is awesome. Here we go. That is a good one. Serenity Here we go. Some pressed leaves in the book. God knows where these came from, guys. Well, they're mine. Mm -hmm. Yep. How, as a general rule, as a general rule, when planning a party, how many drinks should you plan on each guest having to make sure you have enough alcohol on hand? Okay, as a general rule. Yes, if you're planning a party that involves alcohol, Okay. How many drinks should you plan on each guest having and then have enough, you know, to make sure you have enough alcohol on hand? Okay. Cole said 24. Keith Haven said three. Ridgewood said three. I'm seeing for the first one. Jack Rabb gets a point. I need a Hudson check. Got it, Bree, right there. There's Hudson on his pizza thing. Jack Rabb, first one with three. Wow. Jack Rabb has been to those parties. <laughs> Jack Rabb killing it with the etiquette. Jack Rabb, nice job. Jack Rabb was the first one to get it, guys. He said three, and that's what Emily Post in 1922 said. You should plan on each guest having three drinks to make sure you have enough... Uh... Alcohol. Yep. Jack Rabb has a book of excuses. Why not to attend a function or an invitation? <laughs> yeah, that's a whole nother book, Jack Rabb. Excuses. <laughs> yeah, that's, you know, I'm not the easiest person to get to go, um, you know. James likes to stay, James is not the social With his butterfly. little homie, reading a book maybe. Right. You know, taking a walk somewhere. But uh, 
James doesn't even like meetings. You know, like oh, he's meetings. like, oh, can you like when we have client and they yeah, want can a meeting? You just go. James is like, can you just go? Can I just stay? Can you can you just take well, care of the Well, especially if we can't have huts in there. All right. Some places it's just not appropriate to bring the huts there. Right. You could just get the vibe, right? Right. And yeah. then James will be like, oh, can't you just go to the meeting? Do hey, I Dolly Girl Twins. Dolly Girl We're Twins. We're doing the puzzle. Look at how awesome this is. We got started already. Yeah. It's extra, extra good. Yeah. We're doing Emily Post Etiquette Trivia. Here we go. Ed Pocke says, I'm the same way, never a bar guy. The worst kind of party is where there's assigned seating. Cole. Here we go. <laughs> hmm. What? What are you laughing Some at? Some of these are funny. You can't tell me what you're laughing at? Guys. I don't know if I can make this a question. Okay. But I just want to read you about luncheons. All right, luncheons. When men are included on a guest list for a luncheon, the menu generally resembles that of a light dinner. <laughs> okay. When the luncheon is for women only, okay. the food is considerably less substantial. That's what they're saying. Yep. That's not a question. That just no, I didn't. Like yeah, a, no, I was just reading a. Oh, a, okay. A, quote. a factoid. Yeah. Right. Wouldn't you call that like a yeah. factoid, James? Yeah. Yeah. Guys. <laughs> Cole said, I won't go to any lunch and there's not at least two full turkeys roasted. <laughs> it's like, that? Cole. Cole. <laughs> two full roasted turkeys for Cole to even show up. Like you like you ask? Yeah. What's on the menu before you accept yeah. the invitation? Yeah. James? Yeah. You know Guys, how funny is that? What is the only acceptable way to turn down wine when the host is coming around with the wine bottle? What is the only acceptable way? So like what you say you mean? Yep. No, the, the only accept, not the acceptable reason, the acceptable way to turn down a glass of wine. Kimmy said it. Yep, no. What is Someone it? Someone before Kimmy. Brie Grams, first one. Just say no thank you. No. You don't, no covering the glass with your hand. Like, yeah, no motion. No motioning. No uh, turning the glass upside down. And incidentally, when drinking white wine, finish the glass completely. But with red wine, it's better to leave a sip on the bottom to avoid swallowing any sediment. Ah. But Brie Graham's got it. Brie Graham's is on the board. Simply say no thank you. No explanation needed. No hand motions. No touring the glass over. Brie Graham's on the board. Spit it out like a cobra. What? <laughs> Paul McDonough. Hey, what is that? Spit it out like a cobra. <laughs> 
Oh, guys, we had the best chat on YouTube today. Ski Deed says just break the glass. Oh, my God, guys. Just throw the glass I can't down. wait to have a, have a J&K dinner party. No, that's really going to be our opening for our book celebration. Yeah, yeah right. We got Paul McDonough spitting wine. Ski Deed's throwing the glass on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my oh, my oh my god, stop! Oh my god, I'm just dying! <laughs> no. I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying! I'm Dolly dying. Girl Twin says, I always say no thank you and just grab the bottle <laughs> instead. <laughs> no. Oh my god, I'm dying, I'm just Kimmy, dying. Kimmy, you got very close there. I'm just dying from that. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go to a different kind of area here. I'm flipping through Emily Post's etiquette. Oh my god, that was too funny. Jimmy, that was just too funny. Very funny. Here we go. <laughs> what now? What now? Oh, this, these are funny. You're killing me. Mm -mm. And then it says zone. 1922. Here we go, guys. Remember, in spite of all the precautions that you take on planning a trip in your vehicle, in your car, that's an like, emergency can occur. That's occur. like us. Yep. Think of us. Think of us. Think of us with the flat tire. Emily lists flat tire, broken fan belt. Okay. What is the acceptable way? On the side, you'd have to do two things on the side of the road to say you, you need help. This is what you're supposed to do. So is a what's the universal signal of distress in your car? Hey, Danette and Anthony popping in. Welcome aboard. Congrats, guys. I'm getting a thousand. Nice job. Batting a thousand. Extra good. Yep. Wait, so go say this one again. I want to hear this one again, James. What is the universal sign of distress? If your motor vehicle has an emergency on the roadside, like a flat tire or a broken fan belt. So what do you well, like? What do you signal to people to indicate? <laughs> Al Rutledge said you strip down. <laughs> <laughs> no, Al. Interestingly enough, no. T. A. Tickler. This is what Emily recommends. Now, the, the answer is you guys. Hey, Josh Dean. There's two things that Emily says. T.A. Tickler's close, but not completely. There it is, Jack Rab got it. And Jack Rab got it. Put your hood up. Okay, hood up. And hang a handkerchief out the window. Hood up, Jack Rab gets it again. Hood up and wow. tie a handkerchief a out hanky. the window. A hanky. A hanky. Hopefully, pre preferably a clean hanky. Preferably. Okay. Beautiful. Nice job, Jack Rab. One hand, palm facing out. Yeah. Who has a hanky? Green Graham's is saying. Yeah. You know, I said 1922. I did preference it. A lot of people said stuff I find a lot more safe and sane.
Guys, we're building the Dolly Girls camera puzzle. Dolly Girl Twins got this for us. Yep, Dolly Do you Girl see Twins. how much I got? Um, I'm I got done already. Just walk away. Time for a new car. Three grams of say. Just walk away. <laughs> just, just leave it there. Yeah. It's like just, uh, just leave it there. Do, 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 do. James, if, if I, your I'm ready car to start breaks filling down, it in. Look, just walk away. James, do you see how much I got in done? Yes, you're doing great. No, no, no. So I'm ready to start filling this in now. All right, fill it in. I mean, we're still looking for for side for pieces. Yep. But I think at this point, I'm ready to just just uh, go Get for it. Get cooking, right? I'm ready to go for it. What do you think? Okay, tell me what you need, and I'll get it for you. Red. How about red? Red let's, things. And let's like and this strange gold ca yeah, camera. Yeah, here's a, this. This is easy. This goes right here, and then try to build that, honey. Look at a red camera right there. Well, that's like, I, I need something not in the middle. Right there. But... No, that's okay. It'll go right over to that. Okay. Here it is again. That's a different. That's a. That's good. Oh, thanks, CAK813. Yeah, just leave it on the background while you're cleaning the house. Beautiful. The Van Wick. <laughs> yeah. All right, next question. Stephanie Stearns is chomping at the bit. Yeah, give me all these odd color ones, like red, pink. Where is it more appropriate to wear casual attire? A motel or a hotel? I, I know the answer to that. Is Chris Bates in the chat? James, Chris, is Christian Chris Bates? Christian Hansen said, yeah, no, not yet. Christian Hansen said white Hanes underwear, although, you know, would be okay. We're not a hand. Guys, the question is, oh, here we go. Jeez. Everyone got it. Red. The, I'm going with the first answer. The first answer, Stephanie Stearns, motel. You knew that one, right, hon? Well, that's what I said is a... Uh, is, uh, Stephanie Stearns, we, got we, it. We know. Motel, hotel, yep. holiday inn, you know. Yep. Oh, that was a good one. James, can you just keep on? I need your help, though. Okay. Just go away yeah, from I'm the going. chat for a little bit. Yep. And start getting, I mean, it doesn't really matter what you get. Like, th these are very specific. Um, Red? It doesn't matter. Red, like, anything unusual color. Okay. Yeah, this but is this. But if you this. want to stay focused Look, with red. There's red. That one goes over there. There's a bunch of red, This one though. goes over here. I know. Look, that one goes there. I'm going to start flipping them all over and finding red for you. This goes over with that one. Look, that one goes right there. Yep. Here's another red. I don't think that one goes with that one, but. More casual attire when you're at a motel because your stay is usually shorter. Emily Post, guys. 1922 etiquette book. We're pulling our trivia today from this. Here's our end. Boom. Oh, this goes over here. Look, that, that'll tie in your yellow over there. Extra good, thank you. That was great. Mm. Thank you.
Guys, we're coming up with another one. Oh, look, I got the whole side. Nice. Check it out. Nice. James, more red. Yes. You gotta help me with that. And then I'll take these, anything with bellows too. Oh, here's red and white stripes. That's cool, look at that. Red and white stripes, got it, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're doing this uh, puzzle. I hope we can have some clown trivia in the future. <laughs> clown? I absolutely hate clowns, someone said. And then Cole said, yeah, clowns. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, just start turning everything over for me, too. James, mm -hmm. when you get a chance, start. Guys. If you're at a dinner party, and meat and potatoes is served, and you'd like to have some gravy, where do you put the gravy? So if you're at a dinner party, yes. Wait, look at this, wait, look wait. at this weird connection, James. Look at this weird connection. Oh yeah, that's weird. That is weird, I'm still trying to get you red. Here's a red one. On the potatoes. In your lap, that <laughs> made me say. The first one to get it is on the potatoes, Stephanie Stearns. Okay. Stephanie Stearns and Wild Bill. This is a tough one. I'm giving it to Stephanie Stearns and Wild Bill. Okay. I know Wild Bill said on the food, which is correct. Stephanie Stearns said on the potatoes, which is also correct. Wait, what? I, I, I missed the question and now yeah. I'm intrigued what the question was. If you're at a dinner party and you're served and it's like um, serving yourself. Okay. And you'd say you take a piece of roast beef and some mashed potatoes. Okay. Where is it acceptable to put any spoonful of gravy? And the answer was on the food or on the potatoes. Uh-huh. That was the acceptable answers. Okay. Yes, Cayenne Maria, that, that's my, my uh, I rarely go for gravy, but I like butter on my potatoes much better than gravy. Diana Marie is right with me on that one. That's for sure. I mean, there's no doubt. Hey, here's this colorful floral camera, which has some oh, I, in it. I, I, where, where, where did you put that? Good, thank you, I need that. Mm. On the food is the correct answer. That sounds obvious. Yeah, no, you don't put it on. The condiments, pickles, or jelly is served on the side of what they accompany, on the plate. Someone said it sounds silly not to put it on the plate. Greg B, you got that one, perfect. Thanks, Greg B. Greg B had to tell me, so he gets two points. Greg B, two points. Thank you, Greg B. For what was that? What did he, what did, what did he tell you? Oh, that he, he got it. I oh. had missed his... Uh, Response. Yes. This is a lightning round. Family style dining. Look at this. Oh, Look at nice. that interesting thing. Family style dining means that the host or hostess serves the meat and other dishes by passing them around with each diner helping themselves. Are they pa which direction are they passed? 
James, can you just turn over things while yep. you're, you know, while yeah, you're Yeah, here's just... a little red tripod. See that? Right, but just turn it over. Mm -hmm. There's a specific way. Nope. You guys are on the, there's a, it's, it's not, it's, it's a totally different way of describing the direction. Yes, Wendy got it. Counterclockwise. I'm going to make sure, Wendy, you were the first one. No, Ski Deeds. I'm sorry, Wendy. Ski Deeds looks like got the first one. Counterclockwise. Sorry, Wendy. Ski Deeds beat you to it. Counterclockwise Ski Deeds. On the board today. Guys, you got to watch Ski Deeds. He's dangerous. They're dangerous. James. Mark Hubble said, I woke up to my cats. If you can just keep on turning burst, over. Yeah. Wow. All right, here we go. Keep on turning over things. Yep. When you get a Here's chance. Here's red. Look, that's a good red one. Look. See that red one there? Where did you put it? Right there. Okay, good. Thanks. This looks like red, but it's that wooden camera, I believe. And here's another red. Here's another red. These are all reds right here. Well, that's maroon, yeah. Yeah. What a maroon. Here's this bellows camera right up in the corner. It's right up there. It's going to be, it's going to go right in there. No, like right there it goes. Beautiful. Wild Bill. All right. Keep on finding ones like that, like the bellows camera. I will. I'm liking, liking your uh, attack. Mm hmm James. Mm hmm When at dinner, after you are seated, what is the first thing you should do? There's a red one. When at dinner, can yep. you... Uh, What's the first thing you should do once seated? Napkin on lap, Stephanie Stearns. Wow. Wow. He got Stephanie Stearns right on it. Napkin goes in lap immediately when you sit down at a dinner party. Immediately. Or dinner, wherever you're at. Here's that flower camera again. See awesome. it right here? Yep, thank you, awesome. Here's that, yellow over there with red. No, no. Yellow, I'm starving. <laughs> Ski, -dee. Ski Deed says the first thing you do when you sit down is yell, I'm starving. <laughs> Keith Haven said shots of Jaeger. Throw a dinner roll. <laughs> Pitch a dinner roll, <laughs> Anthony. Or as we used to say, huck a dinner roll. Napkin in the lap, Stephanie Stearns, first thing. Throw a dinner roll. Yes, yeah, Stephanie Stearns got it. Just beat Jack Rabb by a second or two. Beautiful. Remove the whoopee cushion, Dolores said. <laughs> oh my God. I'd love to go to your parties, guys. Oh, here's one of these, honey. This is the piece you need over there for the filters. No. Here's another red piece. This is hard, right? No, it's fun though, because it's like yeah. you can, you it's see doable. it right away. Yeah, yeah, it's you doable. You see it right away. I'm flipping them all over. Oh, look at that one. Guys, red. Look at that one, hun. Got it. That was flipped over, so I have to keep flipping. Got it. Thanks. Take Yeah, thanks, guys. Refresh, because the, the stream is great. Wendy was correct, but not quick enough. BP... B Pet TV show. 
BPE TV show saying loves the etiquette quiz. Loving it. Nice. Loving it. Etiquette with James and Carla. Yes. Guys, this is awesome. James, Beautiful more, puzzle. More red, please. Or brown or mm -hmm. anything. Yeah, here I come. <laughs> I'm flipping. Here's a bright red one. Look, right there, hon. Big red one. Thanks. Oh, here's an end. It looks like an end. A corner. Okay. See it? Oh, watch out. Things are falling off over there, hon. That you're means you're things. pushing it. Yeah, or you're pulling it, you know, psychologically. What is the appropriate way to respond to a compliment? Okay. What is the appropriate way to respond to a compliment? Hey, Daryl. Hudson's on his couch, Wild Bill. Thank you. When Melissa Whitby? H.C. Teacher. Oh, this is a tough one. It is thank you. Stephanie Stearns got it first. Ridgewood and Sharon L. Three-way tie. And Ski Deeds. Four-way tie. They all came in. And Jack Rabbit. Five-way tie. So we wow. see Stephanie. They all came in at the same time. Stephanie Stearns. Ridgewood. Sharon L. Five-way tie. Yeah, Sharon L. No, they all came at the exact same time. Ski Deeds and Jack Rab. Okay. The top five were taking. Jack Rab on the board with three. <laughs> Paul McDonough, how dare you? What's that? <laughs> That's how you respond to a compliment. How dare you? <laughs> how dare you? What's that supposed to mean? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> You know, someone says, oh, I like that. Oh, what's that supposed to mean? How dare you? What is the most disconcerting thing a person can do while you're conversing with them? Okay. What is the absolute worst thing, disconcerting thing, someone can do while you're having a conversation with them? Stephanie Stern's got it. What's that? 
Yawn. L look away. Uh, well, I like. Uh, what do you think of my uh, my thing? Yawn. <laughs> she <laughs> <He> said vomit. Vomit. <laughs> 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 well, sure. Yeah, well, so that's sure. Yeah, that's. You know that yeah. is. Yeah. A R B of course. Yeah, you know that would be disconcerting. <laughs> Outside of vomit, <laughs> outside of Stephanie's vomit. got it, looking away. Someone who keeps looking away from you. Falls, <laughs> Anthony said fall asleep. They fall asleep. <laughs> they fall asleep. Vomit. <laughs> no, no, no. Ali vomit. Rogers said, they say, what did I, what did you say? I wasn't listening. Wait, give the person a point that said Jim, vomit. Yeah, Jimmy, vomit, ARB. Uh, give that person a point. If that was ARB who said vomit, then I mean that. ARB said vomit, she yeah, gets a that, point. Yeah, that gets a point, I'm ARB sorry. ARB gets a point for vomit. Yeah. Because that would certainly be disconcerting. <laughs> yeah, looking away. Picking your nose came up. Oh, that's the worst ARB said. Well, you know, we're assuming everyone is, you know, looking at their watch. That's a great one, Lisa UK. I'm going to give Lisa UK girl one, two. Okay. Lisa UK girl gets looking at your watch. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, that was, that's deserved. Yeah, that's, that's deserved. You know, these are like real world things. Right. Christian Hansen saying, he keeps saying what over and over. Because <laughs> I said drop dead. <laughs> Uh, Cole, you're getting a point too. I gotta close this question out. I'm giving Cole <laughs> for dropping dead. <laughs> well, that would be disconcerting as well. So we've had all kinds of <laughs> severe illness. They vomit. <laughs> they drop dead. <laughs> I'm just dying. I'm yeah, just they dying. Someone I I saw spit at you <laughs> comes up. <laughs> <laughs> dying of laughter. Here, 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 here. This is a red one right here. That's okay. that's key. Guys, I'm gonna go on to the next. I'm I'm going crazy. They turn their back on you. <laughs> I'm just dying of laughter. I can't even see the puzzle because my eyes are tearing up because I'm laughing so yes. hard. Yes. And did Anthony Anthony say, "Hey, are you talking to me?" You know, like um, right. Robert De Niro. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> James, can you keep on flipping ones over? I don't mean to be a, a, a pain in yes. the tin No, I got it. But it, it really helps me. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. I'm flipping them over. Oh, you guys are cracking us up today. The chat. On fire. Jimmy. Mm hmm Chat's on fire. Guys, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. You know, these questions, they're not laid out here. I got to... Welcome aboard, Norman Ross. Hey, Dallas. Oh, Norman AC Ross. Teacher. Guys, I want to talk to you. Norman Ross messaged us. Hey, Becky, pop it in. Norman Ross messaged us that he got unsubscribed from our channel. Keith Pullman, we're right here. 
please check if you're watching that you actually are still subscribed to our ch uh, to our channel because Norman Ross let us know that he did not unsubscribe from our channel but somehow he became unsubscribed from our channel so there's some hijinks going on yes in the YouTube world yes so I mean it sounds silly and all like how could that happen but apparently it did so if you don't mind uh, checking make sure that you're actually still subscribed because that might be the reason why you're missing things yep. right James yes you never know you never know you don't Serenity now. If you're at work and a new employee comes up to you at your desk, what should two things should you do? Okay. If you're at work. If you're at work and you're at your desk and a new employee comes up that you haven't met before. Like out of the blue. Yep. Okay. Comes, approaches your desk. What should you do? Two things. So then Nancy said they've been sending me notices for someone I don't have a subscription for. Oh, like they subscribed you to something that you yeah. didn't even subscribe to? Skeeted said you, 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 you shout out who the hell are you. No, guys, keep working. No, no everyone's, got, everyone's missing a key component. Keith Haven said punch and kick. Pretend to be dead. Oh, no one's got it yet. Everyone's got half of it. James, keep on going with um. Yep. No, I have to do the colors. The, the, this is uh, pretend to be dead. <laughs> what? Northern, Mr. Bob Mill said. Oh, Gummy Bear said, I've been incorporating stairs in my walks. I can feel walking stamina coming back. Thanks for the great tip. Oh, that's great. Stand up, shake their hand. Becky got it. You should stand up and shake their hand. Wait, Becky, what, what is this? What I, I mean, I'm, I'm totally missed work. the question. At work. Okay. You're at your desk. Okay. All of a sudden, another a fellow employee approaches that you have not yet ever met. Okay. You've never met yet. Okay. You stand up, extend your hand, shake their hand. When that happens. Introduce you. Yep. Stand okay. up, say hello, introduce yourself, shake their hand. Okay. Will do. Nice. I know that was a little. Offer them twenty-four drinks. Cool sir. My friend got a copy of Keith Haven's saying copy right strike on YouTube for his own song. Yeah, I've heard that happen. Yeah, the, a friend of ours Keith said Haven's. that too. Yep. We have heard of that. Our, a friend of ours that that occurred as well. Yep. Bye, Stephanie Stearns. Thanks for hanging out with us. You're doing great in the chat. You may have been one. <laughs> You did extra, extra good.
Guys, we're right here. We're using Emily Post's etiquette. When James. settings, here we go. I'll keep clear. James, I'm working on uh, gold now. How gold. many pieces? Desi Desert has 500. 550. Gold you're working. Here's gold fixture. 550. Here's gold. Here's gold. Here's gold. Here's another gold. Here's another gold. So that's all you got to do. Now we, we work together. Teamwork. There's another gold. There's another gold. Okay, and there's good. a marigold. And they're not, they're not all the same, but that's Okay, here we go, guys. Perfect. I want to ask this question the right way. Okay. Place setting. Place setting at a party. A all table right. place setting. Okay, got it. Place setting at a party. What is the one necessary element of a place setting that is not on the table when guests first sit down? Hey, Michelle K. popping in. Hey, Michelle. BPE TV show. This is Emily Post's etiquette. 1922. That's, where, that's where we're pulling it from. The plate. Cole got it. Cole gets it. The dinner plate is not on the table when guests sit down. Okay. The dinner plate is not on the table. Cole got it. Not on the table. Okay. We're going to stick with this. Traditionally. Traditionally. Which piece of silver in a place setting is placed next to, directly next to the dinner plate? Where the dinner plate will go. What piece of silver mm -hmm. is placed next to the dinner plate? It's not a, it's either side, either side. No, Where it's not this? a trick oh, question. That's a Polaroid over here. Polaroid is next to this. I don't think, I don't, uh, you guys aren't getting machete. <laughs> a cleaver. The silver, I'm giving it away, guys. I, I no, no, don't give it away. You mean well, you're calling it? You mean yeah, not, no I, one's it's, getting it? Uh, no one's getting what I mean. I'm going to repeat the question. When arranging silver at a place setting, the silver that James, is I placed... I still need you to turn over stuff. Which silver is placed next to the dinner plate? Chainsaw. Yeah, confusing. I'm going to let this one go, guys. What I'm getting at is the silver to be used last in the meal is placed next to the dinner plate. That one's a wash. James, bright blue. Do, do you follow what I'm saying, hon? Yeah, here's a bright, bright blue, like a sky. There we go. There's another one. Yeah, sorry guys. It was the, the yeah, Brie, I, I tangled that one up. The first one you used is placed further out. Stephanie Stearns, you know what I'm saying. You go from outside in. I was trying to ask that and it just didn't go. Just didn't work. I'm gonna go another question here. James, have you discovered any purple in your travels? Yes. 
I could use some of these things here. Purple, I'll look for purple. Still looking for purple, gold, anything odd color. Yep. Basically. Purple, gold. Yes. What is the most formal attire specified for a dinner party? I know what that is. That's easy. I think it's easy. I'm going to give Stephanie Stearns the answer to that last one. She got it. To me, that's a very easy question. Stephanie Stearns, I'm giving you the silverware. White tie, C-A-K-8-1-3, got it. White tie is the most formal, C-A-K-9. Right. Not got black it. tie. Not black tie, white tie. I'm going to read it. I'm just making sure. C-A-K-8-1-3 on the board. White tie. White tie, this not, is according to Emily Post. Right, not black tie, guys. The book I'm using is <laughs> Emily Post's etiquette. White right. tie, the most formal evening wear. White tie wing collar and tailcoat. It is almost never required today except for official and diplomatic occasions in a rare private ball. So number two, second most formal, black tie. The ordinary formal evening wear, a tuxedo with soft shirt and bow tie. Formally, soft shirt, I like yeah, that's that. that's what it says, with soft shirt and bow tie. Formally black, jackets today, especially in the summer, may be patterned in or almost any color. Semi-formal means no jeans or t-shirts. Huh. Women wear dresses or, in quotes, good slacks. Good. Men wear sport coats, shirts, and slacks rather than jeans. Those are the attire specifications. Suspenders. <laughs> Dino Marshall, soft like a fur. Yeah, in a monocle. Mr. <gasps> Peanut is very fancy. <laughs> Cole is saying, like Mr. Peanut, they wear a monocle. Knee high socks, Christian Hansen said. A birthday suit, Rich Oh my God. A white tie is the most formal. What is the least formal? Stephanie Stearns is asking, naked. Stephanie Stearns. What is, at a formal dinner party, is it appropriate to ask for seconds? I, I, I wouldn't think so. Would you? James? Honey, they're answering. I don't want to give it away. No. A-R-B, C-A-K, Stephanie Stearns. A-R-B, A-R-B, C-A-K, Stephanie Stearns. Got it. No. You should not ask for second helpings at a formal dinner. Uh, I know somebody in our chat's going to say something to that. I just yeah. know it. I just know it. Don't you just know it, James? Yeah. At an informal dinner party... It is okay to say, is there any more of that chicken? It's delicious. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hudson's running around over there. You hear him? You got it. My goodness. When it comes, here we go. When 
when your host after dinner starts to clean the table okay clear the table what should you do when your host yep starts to clear the table Guys, I'm waiting. No, there's no staff at this dinner party. This question is not including staff. Stephanie Stearns, nothing. You do absolutely nothing. Stephanie Stearns knows her etiquette. She does. No matter, this is, this is a direct quote from Emily Post's etiquette. No matter how much you want to help. Do not. Or keep your co hostess company. Do not follow her into the kitchen. That would be a no-no. A, when, a right. faux pas. Yes. James. Yep. You will probably only get in her way. If, however, she returns with coffee cups in dessert, you can offer to pass out the coffee cups. No, all right, all right. But do not get up and help. Under any circumstances. Leela Sorensen's got it. Get out of the way. She knows what she's doing. Do not get up. Here's the palm trees. Do not get up and start helping her clean the table. You sit there. You just sit there. <laughs> That's all you do. Bree Grams has taught this wrong. Is calling her money. Coffee sounds amazing right now. Melissa Whitby. I wish we could pass out coffee to the chat right now. Do not pass gold. Sam. Even if you have a chocolate babka. <laughs> oh, Arlene Marlena. I personally think that's a bit anachronistic for 2023. Yeah, C.A.K. That's why I keep saying this is from Emily Post Etiquette, 1922. It's the 14th edition but they didn't update any of that. Right, whether or not mm -hmm. that holds water anymore is, mm -hmm. is, is a totally different story. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, look at this. Look at that hookup I just got. Guys. Look at that, James, look. Oh, beautiful. Really? Here's another one. Here's another one. Look. When it comes time to depart the party, to depart our dinner party. Okay. When it comes time to leave the And you are given your coat. Okay. You're given your coat. It's time to leave and you've said goodbye, what is the most important thing to do? Guys, the party's over. You're given your coat. Yep. Give that, Arlene Marlito, give them an envelope. <laughs> give them an envelope. <laughs> yes. Oh my God, you guys are cracking me up. Yeah. Eugene McGreever, what is your favorite coffee shop? Costa Coffee or Starbucks? No Starbucks. No Starbucks. We, we like independently owned coffee shops. Yep. Guys, 
This is another one. It's tough. I'm going to give it to. Check your pockets for a tip. Feel if there's nothing missing. Give them back the things you stole. <laughs> Ask for cat fare. <laughs> Who's saying all these things? Tell everyone you're sick so you don't have to kiss people goodnight, Anthony said. Guys. James, I need more pieces. The most important thing. James, are you listening? I need yep. more pieces. The most important thing to do when the party is ending and you have your coat on, James, according green, to Emily blue, Post, no one's sky. got it. No one got it. James, green. Is to leave. Do not mill around the door. Dawdle. For 20 minutes. Otherwise known as dawdle. Nothing, this is Emily Post, guys. Nothing is more irritating than a guest who gets her coat, says goodbye to the other guests, and 20 minutes later is still standing in the door. Making. <laughs> That's what Emily Post said. Don't. Once you get your jacket, be gone. CAC A13 says, Oi, I hate when people dawdle at the door. Oi. Ridgewood 237 says, Oh, the long goodbye. No dawdling. Yeah, I remember the Seinfeld episode where they're stuck at the party for, for hours. Jackalope, FPV, I'm a Midwesterner. I'm offended. Scram. You get out. You go. Once you have your coat on, get out. Go. In capital letters and an exclamation point, Emily Post says. James. No last words of wisdom to your hostess. Green. You've said your goodbyes. James, put them you all up here. You thank the host. Get them up here. Here's a blue. Good. You go. You get out of here. You Don't stand in the doorway making for a long, awkward goodbye. Scram. Yeah, scram. Pick up the set of keys you're going home with. <laughs> you placed in the fishbowl. <laughs> I have Greek-American friends, and they always do that. Kake 3 said, the long goodbye. What does Emily say about the Irish goodbye? Yeah, Emily Post. I got to look up when, di when dining with Irish. James, <laughs> like strange colors. Remove the... Once you get to the car, remove the food you hid in your pockets because it's so god awful. James, purple. That's a call. That's an end. Oh, good. James, still looking for purple. Yeah. I had a lot of uh, a lot of problems with family gatherings. They were always an adventure in the, back in the day. Here we go, Emily Post. Well, first of all, your mother was always late. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Doesn't this feel like it's skyrocketing on us? Yeah. James, more, if you can get more colors oh, when yeah. you get a chance. It just helps me. Because they're all over, it's, they're all, they're, mm -hmm. they're, all, they're so far away, James. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yes. What colors are you looking for? Any now? color. They're just so far oh, away. Oh, look at this color. Look at this. I can't, I can't look reach Look at this. Them. It's like a rainbow one. Here, I'll start putting them up here since the puzzle fits. I I'll can't. I'll start putting colors up there. Yeah, I can't reach them. Yeah, here's a bright red. That's going to help you out. It goes right over here. Look, that red goes right there. See this one? Good. That one goes right okay. here, honey. Cool, cool. 
right there. You got it. Good. And I'll start moving reds up. Here's another red. Just give me any anything. Red. Mm -hmm. According to Emily Post, what is the best way and most effective way to say that the party has ended and get rid of lingering guests? Okay, best way. And most effective way. Best and most effective way, there's yellow, to get rid of lingering guests once the party has ended. How do you single, signal Guys, the party is over. Here's that, honey, right there. Cool, thanks. Right there. <laughs> Keith, Keith Havens. What is that? Cole said I have to vomit. Yell and scream and fire a shot. <laughs> Wild Bill. No, no one has got it yet. What? What is this now? You can start yawning. <laughs> they grabbed their jackets and handed to them a loud air horn. What is the most effective way to single the party is over and it is time to leave if you're a host? Okay. No one has got it yet. Start mopping the floors. <laughs> Christian answer. Put on your pajamas, John Jett. <laughs> no, guys, it's an obvious one. Especially no, if no, you... No, no, don't give it away. No, if you grew up in my situation, if you grew up in my family... Well, how many people would grow up in your family? No, no, and, and, and with, turn the lights off. Dolly <laughs> Girlman says in all caps. <laughs> <laughs> no, no one has got it yet, and it seems so obvious to me just because I grew up that way. In some cultures, yeah, no, not belching gummy bear, no. Open the door and wave your arm. There it is! Al Rutledge, last call, close the bar. Chris Bates, Al Rutledge and Chris Bates, got it. You close the bar. So they finally leave. If you grew up in any, around any of my relatives, that's it. Close the bar. You're right, then watch there's, the no, place there's clear no, out. no reason to stay anymore. No close more alcohol. Close the bar. Got it. Chris Bates, Al Rutledge. Close the bar. No more alcohol, they're gone. Is that They what disappear like, uh, you know, they say through a goose. You'll watch your house clear out, you know, if you're... Uh, no, no more alcohol, we're, yeah. we're out. <laughs> Uh, put the liquor away. James, I would like to do this, see this on um, the scenes. The snowstorm appears to have begun in upstate New York, Sharon L says. Yeah, Wild Bill says, in my place, the bar was closed when the booze was gone. <laughs> Blow a whistle. <laughs> the Holly Girl Twins. Emily Post sounds like an alcoholic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Chris Bates, you got on the board right away. Al Rutledge. So listen. It's nothing to joke about. But in my family, that would clear out the house like you wouldn't believe any relative, grandmother, gathering, anything. Here we go. I'm 
Snow is coming to New Jersey and NYC, TDP saying. Snowing here in Corning, New York, six inches expected tonight. It's nice, Ed Pac, eh? Wow. Put your shoveling stuff on. Blast country music. Dolly Girl Twigs. <laughs> oh, Dolly Girl Twigs. Oh my God. Blast so the country music. Here's a yellow one, huh? Yeah, Chris Bates. I went to funeral, Irish funerals. Forget about it. I mean, an Irish week, as they say, Chris Bates. Here we go. James, just keep on giving me any like weird the sky things mm -hmm. and weird stuff like that. Yeah. Here's pink. Pink, perfect. That was great, thank you. Mm -hmm. That was just what I was needing. Actually, it was perfect. I'm getting your stuff. I Put them up on the great. board. Here's that yellow again. That's awesome, thank you. Green. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm just looking up something, hang on. It's a flash cube. And there's that red and then there's a flash cube. Got it. Hold the fort a second, honey, okay? Got it. Here's this. Perfect. Guys, hang on. We're doing Emily Post Active. You know that. Oh, this is fantastic. Explain the puzzle, honey. Guys, this is, a, this is an amazing puzzle. Dolly Girl Twins got us. It's vintage and, like, it's classic cameras. There's vintage cameras. There's... Um, you know, not a lot of, like, super modern. I guess you could always, yeah, like they said, classic cameras. And it came in this tin. Check it out. It's a collectible tin. So we're going to use this as a Hudson's camera. We're going to make a little Hudson camera for around his neck, which will be extra cute. And we're making great headway. Even though there's, like, a lot of um, different parts to this, like, and it fits together weird, like it just, it's a really, really fun puzzle. Like I'm really, really, really loving it because I love cameras and it's just a lot of fun. Extra good. I'm just reaching to get, grab some pieces. Some of the pieces like they, 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 um, they're like next to one another. Yeah, it doesn't need to be so cold. Yeah, yeah, got it. There we go. I Guys, thought it, I thought it was really rocking. Etiquette trivia today. We got a very etiquette friendly chat as usual. 
So James, keep on um, giving me pieces when yes. you find them. Yes. Guys, we're going to talk about something. Any more red in your travels, James? Yeah. There are two, here we go. <laughs> yeah, last call. What is the proper way to ask for broccoli at a formal party? Who, who <laughs> said that? 17. Broccoli, broccoli says. Give me the damn broccoli. Give me my white tie back. Here we go. There are two fundamental differences between balls and dances. Name them. Wow. We'll give, you can, if you name one of them, you get a point. Okay. All ages to ball. Yes. Exactly. Ski Deeds got it. Wow. How did you know that, Ski Deeds? <laughs> yeah. Not Rutledge. Not good. A top. Not, not, no, no, no. Ski Deeds got it. A. Ski Deeds gets a point. Here's what Emily says. Guests at a dance are of approximately one age. Okay. While those at a ball may go from high school students to octogenarians. Wow, octogenarians. Yeah. I'm gonna see if anyone got the second one. James, can you move all the pieces to yep, here? I'll get them up there. Just move them so I can grab them. They're way too far away now. I really can't see them. Look, look, there's one's hidden underneath here. Yeah, the second, I'm gonna give that to Ski Deeds. Yeah, dance floor size. I'm gonna give that to Clara W. Dances are typically much smaller. James. Than a ball. Start. So I'm gonna give it to Clara. Clara W, the size and dance floor size. I'm giving it to Clara W. Clara W gets a point. Nice job, Clara W. Let's get you some. Here's the, and then uh, fix the light. You have yeah. the light not on me. The light's you. like over there for yep, some there reason. There it goes. I'll bring it over. I'll have to show Hudson in a second. Yes, that's perfect. Good. Here's this thing, hon. This goes with that maroon over here. I'm going to start moving these up for you. That's fantastic. Here's a white and yellow. I don't know if you're collecting yellows. You see it? Right here. Anything. See it? Cool, cool, cool. Here's, here's leather. Do you have a leather one started yet? Brown leather. Orange stripes. Nice. Here's orange stripes. See them? Right yep. there. Cool, thank you. Yep. Let's see. Some Long Island schools are closed tomorrow because of the snow. Kim Huff and Puff saying this is cool. Thank you.
like me, octogenarian, Stephanie Stern said. Yeah, the other one, Chris Bates, the other one is that a dances are smaller. A ball is more extravagant, lavish, with decorations and refreshments. A lady, lady should never walk across a ballroom without what? Mm. A lady should never walk across a ballroom without the support of what? Oh, so that was crucial. You forgot the support when you first said yeah. it. An escort. Chris Bates and exactly. Stephanie Stern's talk. A gentleman's arm. Exactly. Chris Bates, Stephanie Stern's got it. Chris Bates, Stephanie Stern's an escort. Walking across a ballroom often involves a very slippery surface in high heeled slippers. <laughs> slippers. The late Ward McAllister classified New York society as having 400 people who were at ease in a ballroom. He indicated that the ballroom was the test of best manners. He said at dinner that among the 400 were at ease, no more than 10 could gracefully cross a ballroom alone. Hmm. Only 10 people he knew in New York society could cross a ballroom successfully Jimmy, by themselves. Keep on moving these down when you get a chance. Yep. You know, move them towards me. Yes. Meaning. If you could. Mm hmm Yeah, I'm going to move them all over towards you. Here's, a, here's that yellow brass ring. You see it? And where did you just put that? Got it. Thanks. Yes. I'm pushing these up on here for you. Keep on doing that, yeah. Here's yellow. There's two yellow ends. Here's another yellow. Here's another leather. There's leather right here, honey. Look, leather. Bellows. Bellows. Major bellows. Give me bellows. Green. Look, seafoam green. I think it goes right there. Look, honey, seafoam. Guys, thanks for hanging out with us today. We're doing the Dolly Girl Twins puzzle. It's absolutely fantastic. Classic cameras, guys. Classic cameras, and I'm absolutely loving this thing. This is definitely one I would love. Here, I know. The sea foam again. I wish we had no, it in no, the honey. city. Sea foam. Yeah. But it would be cool to, to frame down here. <laughs> Anthony said, always wear your risky business socks when crossing a dance floor. Ballroom. <laughs> James and Carla, what's your favorite color? Sharonelle's asking. I Carla mean, likes black and pink. And pink. But I don't really. I mean, I wear a lot James, of different there's colors. There's a huge storm. Goes back to Saskatchewan. Joseph Taylor, thanks for that. The di here's Dolly Girl Twins. The difference between dance and balls is that a dance is to move with rhythmic step or movement, especially in time into music, while a ball is to form or wind into a ball. <laughs> oh God. Uh, no, um, I do not have on vinyl U2, the best of 1990 to 2000. HCT tray. Do not have that on vinyl with the B-sides, the whole bit. Do not have that. No, we don't have every um, U2. Yet. We we're definitely do not. Them, we're collecting them slowly. to blue. Why is there blue? 
Here we go, guys. And ball, balls, always remember to avoid ball lighting. True blue, yeah, we love true blue. Hey, Shirley popping in. Welcome aboard, Shirley, from the Lower East Side. Hey, Shirley. Yeah, we're lag. The stream's lagging a little bit today, the internet. We got that. Thanks for checking out our merchandise, Stephanie Stearns. Norman Ross favorite. I'm wearing black, the merchandise. I'm wearing the Hudson Pizza Lover today. Yeah, no, HC Teacher, that's great. Yeah, we have it on CD, HC Teacher. We have the two CD one with the B sides, but not vinyl. We had thunder snow here the other day. Very rare, Ed Pake Singh. Oh, where was that? Yeah, where was that again, Ed? Oh, some of these go together like sh very, sh you know, like you would you would be shocked at like the way they go together. Mm -hmm. Guys. There's the red. Oh, look at this. That's how I screwed up. Look at this. Now it makes more sense. There we go. No, oh, Carla's getting it, guys. No, I had this. That's why I couldn't complete it. Look at that. Now this can move down. That's waking, making way, way more sense now. Yeah, this nice way. one, David Clipper. Melissa Whippy saying, great job, Carla. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now we got it. Now it's coming together. Look at that. Now, does that fit together here? Oh, what my God. What must a man? Oh, my God. Never wear. Look at this. Nice. What must. Way too big. What must a man never wear in a Catholic church? What must a man never wear in a Catholic church? ARB got it. A hat? And Stephanie Stearns, a hat. I, I, got, I thought of it too. <laughs> Stephanie Stearns is way in the lead. Stephanie Stearns. And ARB. Both got hat. But it's interesting. In a synagogue, men always wear hats. Right, the uh, Hasidic. Yep. Where is this cannon? Do you see this cannon? Cannon, 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 cannon. Little cannon. 
because that's thrown me. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got a bellows. Let me just see another one with nice bellows. Okay, that's over here. Guys, we're doing trivia today. From Emily Post's Etiquette, a 1922 work. That has bellows. It's underneath the film. So I need to find one with film. Carla's working on the puzzle from Dolly Girl Twins. It's a beautiful vintage camera puzzle. It is gorgeous. And then where is this one? It's in wood one. Ah, oh, that goes down over here. Got that one. Good. And then the coronet. Hey, there's a coronet. Like we have, we have a coronet. Yeah. That's so cool. What is the only way a girl should refuse an offer of a date from a boy? Ah. What is the way? Only way, you said. Yep. What they, they only need to say. Emily Post says, to refuse a date, a girl need only say what? Okay. You need only say that magic yep. word. Mm -hmm. All right. Wendy got it. And the answer is? Previous plans. I have previous plans? Yep. Wow. A lot of people said just no thank you, which of course is, is, but you have to, Emily says, I'm sorry, but I have a date. I, I have, have an engagement that night. I have previous plans. Yes. Wendy got it. Previous, previous plans. So that's the way to properly turn somebody down. Yes. I'm sorry, but I have a date for Saturday night. I'm sorry. James, I need all the pieces now this way. Yep. Wendy, got it. Only acceptable excuse is to refuse. Pass gas, gummy bear set. <laughs> Lie, ski de yes, that's what they're saying. Say I'm a nun, Eddie said. <laughs> God. Well, you know, that you have a previous engagement could mean you like to sit and read your book with Hudson. That's a previous engagement. Here's the purple. It's James, right here, I right? need all the pieces down yep. this way now. Yep. Your previous engagement could be, look at this one, honey. This looks like a key piece. A key piece could be, here's an orange. I'm going to put any key pieces on the corner here, okay? Okay, good. Is it a bad etiquette to suggest Seinfeld trivia? No, it is not. Seinfeld trivia, here we go. That is not bad etiquette at all. There's no such thing as bad etiquette. Where was Kramer? You know, where was Kramer when he said, God, it's like a sauna in here? Hey, official con production popping in. Welcome aboard.
In a sauna, ARB got it. Exactly. And Danette and Anthony got it. Wait, 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 wait. Up, who's first? Oh, Ski Deeds and Danette and Anthony got it. It's ski a tie. Ski Deeds, Danette and Anthony, and ARB. Ski Deeds, Danette and Anthony, DNA, and ARB. It was a tie this time? Yep. Three way tie. They all got it. Wow. Nice. Nice job, guys. He was in a sauna. Guys, thanks for hanging out today. You're doing great. We're going to do one more etiquette, and then we'll have a lightning round of some, uh, some Seinfeld. James, just bring them all down now. Yep. These are way too far. I can't reach them. Yep. If you before you do before you do uh, yeah, more the more chats, yep. just here we go. Here's a them. roll of film. Here's a roll of film. D don't don't put it in the center because no, no. it's going to get too crowded right. for me. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm getting. Oh, there's pieces under the cardboard, everything. You're, yeah, that's what I said. I'm you're like in, you're in you're in trouble over here. No, I'm not. I'm good. Here's a blue. Look. Just put it down, and I'll yep, grab it's it. It's on the corner there. I put all the important ones on a corner. Okay. I'm gonna find everything. It's it's good. It's just I can't reach it there. Mm -hmm. And I'm you know like I'm moving along now. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Peace can. Guys, James is moving pieces of the puzzle onto the board. Okay. Here's blue, light blue. Thank you. Yeah, that's good. Just putting it over there. I got it. I'll find them. Just if you could just move them down, I'll I'll find them. Onto the cardboard, correct? Like you're doing is perfect. Good. Here's a burled knob there. Hey, hey. Welcome aboard, guys. Hope you had a nice weekend. We're down in Florida. It's about 88 degrees out. Hottest February on record, I believe. It's been like over... Well, I mean, this part of the February. 12 you know. days that the temperature's been above normal in the hot... In We're the breaking, breaking records. Breaking records left and right. We broke a record that existed in 18-something the other day. Remember, hon? True that. 120. Here's a red. You'd probably want that. I think it's that right there. I don't know. I'll Just put that. it there. Yeah, that's yep, there that's go. good enough. Thanks. That was great. Here we go. Yeah, it's warm. Last one of etiquette today. And then we're going to have Seinfeld. You know, because we, like we like to make it varied for everyone. Yeah. Right, James? Yep. Here we go. I want to do one more. Trying to get a good one here. Yeah, let's just go with Seinfeld, I guess. 
It's okay. Don't, don't. Yeah. Don't be hasty. No, don't be hasty. At a wedding. When the bride and groom are opening wedding gifts, what should they have next to them? Wow. Here we go, guys. At a wedding. Yeah, Josh Dean said close the bar. Yeah, that's, that's, I mean, that's nothing more appropriate. A bucket. <laughs> No, don't put them on top of one another. Alan Holmey Food and Fun got part of it. A divorce attorney. I'm giving Alan a, uh, you know, Alan, we need a little more. This is great. When opening gifts. Blob. James, here, just instead of... Oh, we need a, a thing. I'm going to give it to Alan. Alan the homie, food and fun, pen and paper. A bridesmaid should sit beside the bride and groom with the notepad and pen and paper and make a careful list. Hmm. I'm giving it to Alan. James, what percent are we at? We're at uh, 20. Okay, I'll go get it. Getaway car. <laughs> Alan, the homie food. Gets on the board with a point. Nice job, Alan. His other girlfriend. <laughs> All right, guys. You did very well on the etiquette. We will be referring to the etiquette book in future trivia, but now... We're shifting all our momentum I've to gotta go get the, um, the puzzle. And I've got to go get the... Uh, Here's leather. Right there above the leather. Okay, right good. There. But I, I, you said I have to go to get... Seinfeld. I have to go get the charging unit, right? Yep. Okay. Guys, I appreciate you and hope you enjoyed. Here's the cover of the book. Let's see here. EP. Emily Post's Etiquette. 14th edition, originally released 1922, Harper Row. A book everybody should have in their home. <laughs> Everyone should have in their home. Oh, yeah, you know. This is a. Uh, Proper etiquette -ing, etiquette ing ing. One of the most important manners of all is the use of please and thank you. First page of Emily Post's etiquette. All right, I don't get the please charger. Please and thank you. We're going to do a couple Seinfelds, guys. Here we go. Wait, wait for me, because I'm going to go get the... Um, charger. I'm going to go get the charger. Okay. Thanks, Dave. Hey, Daddy Bog popping in. Welcome aboard, Daddy Bog. Hey, Daddy Bog. Nice job. See, and now I'm really seeing everything. Hey, DN. No, you can definitely join in. Oh, Stephanie Stearns, I'll get you. Stephanie Stearns, you have it pretty much on lock anyway. But I gave you a point for that last one. Okay, James, I'm going to go get the charging unit. Guys, we're doing the camera puzzle. Look at this. I'm going to give you an overview how much Carlos got done. It comes in a metal tin. This is from Dolly Girl Twins. This is a metal tin that the top comes off. Look, I'm going to show you. You can open it up. I think we should make a, uh, like a um, barrel around Hudson's neck out of this. Yeah, that's right. Where he can carry stuff, and it'll be right be around Hudson's neck. So it looks like he's a paparazzi with us. Yeah, no one says please or thank you anymore, Wendy. I totally agree. It's lost the value. Oh, thank you. Guys, we're going to call the trivia right now because it's, you know, 
I'm going to go one more Seinfeld. I'm going to go two more Seinfelds, so we did three Seinfelds. That's fair. And then we're ending it. The then trivia. the trivia will end. Here we go. First one of the last two. When you said the etiquette book was from 1922, I didn't register. It was 100 years old. I have a tendency to live in the 60s. Yeah, CAC 813. Here we go. What did George's fiance Susan die? How did George's fiance Susan die? Here we go. Last. There's one more question after this. This is second to last question. Seinfeld trivia from Johnny Azaria. What? No, uh, Ski Deed's got it. The poison glue. Extra good. The envelopes. No, Ski Deed's. There's per. Yeah, Ski Deed's got it. The glue. Ski Deeds said glue like five times. That's what confused me. Ski Deeds and ARB are tied. Ski Deeds gets a point. ARB gets a point. Okay. Nice Very job, guys. Ronnie C got it. The glue in the envelope. Everyone's got that one. Hudson can carry his hanky. <laughs> in the camera tin. Duck. His hanky. His hinky hanky. Ooh. Oh, guys, this is great. We're doing the puzzle. We got one more Seinfeld trivia coming up, and then we pick a winner today. Okay, sounds good to me. You guys went all out today. You guys did fantastic job. Honey, where does this go? That looks very, uh, this looks very doable. Got it? Yeah, and this one too. Just trust me. It's the top of a camera from the top view. See, it's the wind it right there, right? Right there. Is that it? Over this side? No, that's the, um, this is the film um, door. No soup for you. Dingo ate your baby. Stephanie's turn. Yellow card was toxic glue, T.A. Tickler. You get a point. T.A. Tickler raised a fair point. And it was what was the fair point? That you had to get toxic in there, toxic glue. But she knows they still, that I'm toxic. Yeah, the others can still get their points. However, T.A. Tickler, good point. Yellow card accepted. Here we go, guys. Last question of the day. Hudson can carry his little black book in there, Wendy said. <laughs> oh, with all his, you know, contacts and his phone. He can put his phone in there. Yeah, that Marjolein got him. We should have an old phone. The, the flip phone. No, yeah, the Marjolein flip phone. got him. Marjolein's flip, flip phone is going inside here. Here we go, guys. Last Seinfeld, last question of the day. Hudson is up. Who appears in the most episodes after Jerry, Kramer, Elaine, and George? <laughs> That's a good answer, Stephanie. Who appears in the most episodes after Jerry, Kramer, Elaine, and George? It's one answer. Newman, Eddie got it, and C.A.K. Mm-hmm. C-A-K, 813, and Eddie got it. Newman. Is that hot? Yep. Okay. Guys, the trivia of the day is closed. Officially? Chris Bates says, no, I was first. Hang on, Chris Bates. Uh-oh. The uh -oh. flag goes up. The flag goes up. Yes, Chris Bates was first. He gets two points because I messed up. The betting windows have closed. The trivia. Yeah, I got it, Chris Bates. I gave you two points because I, I messed it up. Right. When when James when there's a mess up, James, if you know. If James announces it and messes it up. Then we have a standing the rule. The person who would have got shorted gets two points. Right. Chris Bates. Rule applies to Chris Bates. Two points for Chris Bates. So here we go, guys. 
The trivia for today, 227, 23. First place. First place. A dominating. What do you call that? God, I, I lost my word. Like a, you... a clear winner. Yeah, a clear winner. Dominating performance. Stephanie Stearns, moderator extraordinaire with 13 correct answers. Wow. So basically, if you want to know proper... Yeah, Justine, Marjolene's not here today. If you want to know proper etiquette, ask Stephanie. Yes. Stephanie gets the raised pinky finger. <laughs> In etiquette of the day. T.A. Tickler, I'll give you two. T.A. Tickler says he got it. Gave T.A. Tickler two. Mm. Stephanie Stearns, number one by far. No, no, uh, no ifs, no ands, ifs, or ands, or buts. buts. Stephanie Stearns, number one. Now it gets sticky. Now it gets a little tricky. And why, why is that? Second place, three-way tie. No. Wait, should we have a runoff then? Yes. T.A. Tickler, Ski Deeds, ARB, locked in a three-way tie. So what do you, are they all present? Because that wouldn't be fair. Are all you were... guys still here? Just so wait a minute. T.A. Tickler, you're here. Ski Deeds, are you still here? Because we want to be fair. Sudden death, James. Yes. ARB is there. Ski Deeds is here. Guys, these, this question coming up. Is a sudden death round? Is a sudden death round only applies, only T.A. Tickler, Ski Deeds, and ARB can answer. It's going to be a J and K. It's going to be a J and K trivia question? J and K trivia question. Okay. Are you, are you, I'm gonna, are you gonna do the honors? Are you gonna think of, of it? I have it. All right. Name. One of the places. We just need to name one of them. That we did the It's Science Taco Battle. Ah. It was a double header that day and even a wild card was involved. All you have to do, the first person to name one of them. No one else answered. Just the three. And no giving them hints. Right, James? No giving hints. Hmm. It was in New York. We went to two taco places and a third wild card. Name one of them. No, it wasn't Taco Bell, Stephanie Stearns. And you're not involved. <laughs> it's a tough one. ARB, Ski Deeds, T.A. Tickler. You remember them, honey. I, I know. ARB said Los Tacos, number one. Nope. Ski oh, Deeds, Zaragoza. Ski Deeds gets it. Wow. Extra Ski Deeds good. gets it. Avenue A, off 14th Street, Zaragoza, Ski Deeds. Wow. Ski Deeds, number two of today. Now we have to have a runoff for number three. For third place. Guys, Stephanie Stearns number one, Ski Deeds number two. Here's the runoff for third. This one only involves T.A. Tickler and ARB. T.A. Tickler and ARB. What should we do, hon? Seinfeld or J&K? No, it's good. Just keep with J&K. That's J &K. fair. J&K. That's fair because that that's a true that's a Longevity. true follower. Where whereas the other ones like you may or may not know yes. um, different things. This but decides third place. T. 
T.A. Tickler versus A.R.B. Here we go. Drum roll. This is for third place, you're saying, right? Yep. Okay. What was the name? What was the location? Okay. What was the name of the business? Okay. Pizzagate. Ah. That's all I have to say. What was the name of the business that the caused Pizzagate? Pizzagate. That's a very, very, very good trivia question. I'm proud of you for thinking of that, James. Thanks, Ed Pake, for hanging out with us. Thanks, everybody. Guys, if you're not... People are answering it. No, don't help them. No, let's see. No one got. No one took it up yet. It's only between T. A. Tickler and A. R. B. to decide the winner. Read the chat. <laughs> Read the chat. It's only the only correct answer can come from either T. A. Tickler. Or right, ARB. This is, this is a runoff, guys. ARB and TA Tickler. All I can say is read the chat. <laughs> oh, so because they gave the answer. ARB got it. Aces. <laughs> ARB gets third place. TA Tickler gets shut out. But but don't worry, TA Tickler, because yeah, we got stuff. You know. You won. An, you won another one. You yeah. you've won before. Guys, so. today's trivia is one for the books. Two twenty-seven twenty-three. Emily Post and Seinfeld Trivia, mainly Emily Post, 1927 Book Etiquette, Stephanie Stearns, Moderator Extraordinaire, first place, whoop, whoop. ARB second place, Skeety second place, ARB third place. Extra good. Nicely done. ARB. Nicely done. Oh, everybody. Everyone. Chris Bates, fourth place with four answers. CAK813, fifth place with three. Tied with Ridgewood 237. Ridgewood 237 in CAK813, tied for fifth place with three. Chris Bates, four. Nice job, everyone. That was really amazing. Wouldn't you say? Yep. Daddy Box saying you win a free trip to Buffalo. <laughs> and Stephanie Stern say I'll take it. <laughs> Honey, here's a little bit of red. Do you know where that could go? That looks like it. I'm going to try to help you. Can you slide this a little bit towards me? Of course. Do, do, do right. it. Guys, outstanding job today. Yeah, extra, extra, extra good. On the uh, trivia game today. Absolutely, absolutely great job. Honest to God. I was a little worried about the Emily Post etiquette. Give us a holler if you would like to see Emily Post etiquette appear in trivia again. Danette and Anthony's heading off to bed. Good night, Danette and Anthony. Turn the lights out. The party's over. Daddy Bog. Nice job. HC teacher says, wow, you're nearly done. Stephanie Stearns is saying, last call. Thanks, Josh Dean. It was lovely and stress-free to be not nearly be in the hunt today. Yeah, CAK, you did a great job. Must, nice, relaxing day of trivia. Mm -hmm. No, Stephanie Stearns, play as many times as you want. You did great. Yeah, no, no, no. That's... Our only etiquette... Uh, I'd say the etiquette pro. Pro. No feet up on the table for Stephanie Stearns. No standing in the door saying goodbye for 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no. What else? Yeah, we'll just do a recap of all the... Um, yeah. You know. Yeah. 
issues at hand. Yeah. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. I got one. Look. Boom. Got that orange thing. Perfect. Guys, this is an awesome, awesome puzzle. Look at how Carla's doing here. Just poured water on myself, everyone. Fantastic job. James knocked his glass of water onto his lap. So that's that's a good thing then. Yeah. Very good. Not too bad though. Just in the chair a little bit. It went mainly on the floor. Do you need any help? No, I'm good. I'm gonna go get a paper towel. Hey, Christina Kidd. GDP, oh. thanks for joining, liking the trivia. Let us know if you like the Emily Post trivia. We have we could do a many book trivias. Literary trivia, right not? Yeah. Classics. The classics trivia. And some not so classics. Guys, we really have fun joining you on Trivia Monday. Wow. That's a, uh, a little bit of a mess there. That's okay. Right, huh? Just water. Yeah. I like New York City trivia. That's a great idea. We could definitely do New York City trivia, hon, right here with this. Yeah. What's holding the this one? Oh, yeah. Stephanie Stearns. That's a great suggestion. Next week is New York City trivia. Stephanie so Stearns. So study up. I mean, this is like... That's what we should do. One of the winner's um, uh, rewards is you get to pick next week's trivia. Oh. And Stephanie Stearns, you just did it. Guys, Stephanie Stearns just gave birth. To just gave birth. Gave uh, bona fides <laughs> to a new reward for winning trivia. Besides getting an envelope of assorted Hudsonisms, you get to pick next week's trivia. Stephanie Stearns picked it, New York City trivia. Right, which is a really good thing because obviously pick something that you're familiar with because then you can win again. Yes. So this is like, that is, that's excellent, James. Yep. You get to pick next week's trivia. Stephanie Stearns, am I okay saying that next week's trivia will be New York City trivia? Is that what you choose? Because it's yes. your, your, your choice now. Yes. Stephanie Stearns. Do you like that idea? Yeah. Let's make sure Stephanie's on board with us. Yeah, that should be fun, C.A.K. Wendy's saying baseball trivia, but next week is New York trivia. Wendy, I like baseball trivia. We like that too, of course. Yep. Stephanie Stearns. Well, in that case, I picked California history. No, just <laughs> New York City it is. Stephanie Stearns picked next week's trivia. Okay. Whether you're here or not, we'll be doing next year's, I mean, next trivia session will be New York trivia, guys. Ought to be fun. We're just doing the puzzle. We're working. We got the pizza dough in the fridge. Oh, yeah, the time to take that out, right, James? Yep. You want to just and put that I'll... out on the counter? Okay. Hey. Yes. We don't have to. Yeah, but just uh, take that out on the counter. The uh... Wild Bill says, why New York City? Maybe Seattle or Dallas. Yeah, well. David Clifford, before I go, no one has ever successfully included an action kid rendering an answer to what train the High Line used to be for. Wow. But I know the answer to that. But that's part of New York trivia. Yeah, we're no, going to we save, save that. that one. Save that. Guys, listen. If David Clipper, next Monday, you will ask that as an official trivia question for the chat. But now they can look it up. That's okay. And the first one to answer. Okay. David Clipper has the question for next week's and trivia. And he, he already gets a point for next week. And you already get a bonus point, David Clipper. So remind us next week. Right. Because next week to James will seem like, you know. You already, back in high school you already get a point because you, yeah, yeah. you came up with that. Yeah, David Clifford. I love that idea. I love that. Carla knows her New York history. Let me tell you that much. Tell you that. Pull a wool over a Gambini's eyes. Yeah. Hey, well, hold on. Where does this go? This one's annoying me. 
It looks like it should be so easy to place. Where is it? That thing. With the yellow lens. Anti-reflective coating. Hmm. Right? Doesn't that look like it should be pretty locatable? Yeah, it looks old. Do you see it? Yep. Here, Wild well, Bill you... is shouting out for Uzbekistan trivia. Oh, David Clifford saying, I do not know. Oh, but. He's just asking. Oh, okay. But that will still be David Clifford. We will Doesn't look matter. it up. We know, I know the answer. Wendy's was born in Brooklyn, so challenge accepted. New York City trivia. No, Sharon L., that's fine. If you got that big storm up there, watch the weather while you're watching this. That's fine. You got heavy weather coming, as they say. Heavy weather is on the way for a lot of folks tonight. Oh, look at this. Did you look find at this. that yellow one? Look at this. Oh, nice. Yeah, look at how crooked that all is. That's the umbrella, right? See, that it's just because... Um, That's the umbrella for the lighting of the camera. Oh, where that one was? Mm -hmm. No, I'm working at it, though. Mm -hmm. See, where is this, this look blue, at that. blue stuff? I just got the part of the umbrella. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. And then this, wait a minute, goes this way. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, I'm hip, I'm hip. It's going to be this way. Mm -hmm. Wait, I just saw something that I was just like, oh, that's that piece. Mm -hmm. You never saw such a place. That goes right down there, huh? Right there. See it? Right there. You got it. That was perfect. Does Hudson have an alligator toy? Yes, Greg B. He does. He has Shaggy the elevator. Yeah, but he alligator. He but, always loves plastic but, alligators. But if you like, if you like to send him plasticky uh, alligator, he yeah. doesn't have a plasticky alligator. Kirk is saying, "What's the most well-known dog in New York City and Florida?" Of course, it's the Hudson. It's the Hudson. Kirk, I like that answer. That's a. A well thought out. Lucid. Lucid. Yeah. Question? Yes. Brenda Nelson, that goes hand in hand. We can mix J and K trivia with New York City trivia. Right. Yes. Just because Brenda we say... Nelson, absolutely. Right. It's not that's not all. Jacqueline Barlotta has the same shirt as Carla has on. Oh. Nice job, Jacqueline. Extra, extra good. Dollar Girl Twin says, tell Carla her Florida tan is looking good. Oh, thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Dolly Girl Twins. We're loving this. Alan the Homie Food and Fun, thank you for both inspiring me to start my own YouTube channel. Nice job, Alan the Homie Food and Fun. Extra good. Everybody head over, check out Alan the Homie. We support all our chat. Head over and check out Alan the Homie Food and Fun R. I can't tell what the rest of it says. The name is cut off. Nice job, Alan. Thanks for that. Yes, Al Rutledge. We did name the dog. The dog. The dog. Hudson, after the Hudson River. Because he's a blue nose. Gummy Bear has a Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade puzzle with 2020 with 10,000 pieces. Wow. Well, that I sounds... think I see the edge piece, top left side, all white. Top left side, all white. Stephanie Stearns thinks she sees oh. it. Oh, I see. But that's not. Yeah, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Stephanie Stearns, nice job. Stephanie Stearns popping in, honey. Stephanie, you get an Stephanie extra point. Stearns. You okay, want... I'll be all about food and fun in New York City and the surrounding suburbs. Nice job, Alan. We'll check you out, everybody, all our supporters. Nice job, Alan. I had a pleasure having you here today. Nice time. But uh, Guys, if, if you want to help us out with a puzzle piece, we're, we're more than happy. We'll give you extra points on the trivia questions yeah. for, for doing so. Yeah, absolutely. What do you think of that? Yeah. What time you... I think, um, I mean, I'm not going to finish this tonight. Like, no. this is like, 
you know, why why rush it? Like it's I wouldn't rush. Pretty, it's such a pretty puzzle. Yeah, it is. Look, and I just got a piece anyway. It's a gorgeous puzzle. And this is going to be incorporated Did into Hudson. Did you take Hudson. that out of the fridge, James? No. Oh, okay. Let me go do that. Pizza dough out of the fridge. Stephanie Stern's coming off the bench, helping us huge. James got a wet bottom because he sat in his own water. When he spilled water, I'm taking this out. Where do I put it on the, on the, mark, on the, on the counter? Good. Bingo. And then... That's perfect. You think like there's not that many pieces, but there's actually still a good amount of pieces. Wouldn't you say, James? James, wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. Like you think there's not that many pieces. Yep. But there's still like a decent amount of pieces here. Can we see Hudson, please? Yes. No problem at all. Hey, Hudson. Hudson. Yeah, Hudson, why don't we? Hudson, I yeah. think we need to go out in the backyard. Yeah, let's end the puzzle. Let's end the puzzle. We'll finish it next week because um, why not? I mean, we're gonna do, be doing New York and everything. Take the um, take the uh, the, the, out. the charging cord out. Yep. And when before it gets too dark, what's um, Hudson and end the puzzle for today. Yes. I, I don't Guys, have that many pieces left. Let we me have turn plenty of puzzles to still do. And Let this me is, turn it around. Yeah, Let here we go. Around. Turn the beat around. Turn the beat around. We're going to go play with the Hudster. Look. Oh, it looks beautiful. Yeah, tilt that a little bit. Just a paper. Yeah, that's perfect. Greg B. What kind of toys would Hudson like to have? He just gave us four ninety nine. Oh, thank you, Greg B. Greg B. Fantastic job. I mean, job. Hudson loves balls, number one. Any type of ball. Like, but not a super giant ball. Like a ball that he can fit in his mouth. Those are his favorites. He likes plasticky toys. And he likes toys with squeakers. Yes. Those are, I or mean, like... Or crunchy, like, stuff. Greg like, B., fantastic job. Yeah. Let's go do but, Hudson. Now, which, which pick out... Let's pick out, um, oh, unplug the, um, the, the cord. Oh, you got it. Okay. Yeah, I did. And what, what toy should we get for Hudson tonight? Yeah, let's see. I can pick one out if you want. Show yeah, the puzzle. Yeah, pick one out. Show the puzzle and I'll pick out a toy. How's that sound? Okay. Guys, okay. this is the puzzle. Carla's picking out a toy for Hudson. <laughs> Toys made of pizza, Al Rutledge is saying. Yeah, Carla got a lot done on the puzzles. Once Carla gets her, uh, sinks her teeth into it. James, you want to come over and show everyone what we're having for dinner? They're not going to see it, but I can oh. show them what we're having for dinner. Okay. Hold on. Yes. Pizza dough. Guys, earlier we had a Patreon and YouTube member only live chat. And I made my homemade pizza dough, as you can see here. And... We're going to have homemade pizza tonight. So I'm gonna flip this up. What did he say? Great job with the puzzle. So we're we're letting that get to room temperature. Let yep. me just wash my hands. We're gonna be gonna pick out a, oh, picking out a toy for Hudster. Pick out a toy for the Hudster. Nice job, Greg B. Fantastic stuff. absolutely fantastic this puzzle and look at a tin James I got this before you know it but I'm gonna get more things mm -hmm. I gotta get something from the bedroom yep hold on I'm gonna get a toy from the bedroom guys yeah p homemade pizza nice job sounds like a great idea right CAK Carla makes a nice pizza and it's healthy for James there's the pokester Greg B, fantastic job. Going to show you the, this is a turntable we got. Yeah, it's kind of late for Frisbee. Okay. So I got, I got something. 
something. Yep. I got a treat bag for Hudson. Yes, here we go. I'm showing uh, our turntable with uh, Chet Baker on it. He's already seen it. Forget it. Okay, here we go. Turn the light on. Oh, how do I do that? Right over there. There okay. you go. Hudson's. He's ready. He's ready. He's ready. Yep. He's ready. He's ready. I got treats. He's got treats. What do you got first? I would do this one first. This one. Just do it. Here we go. Guys, Hudson. Hudson. No, first this. Okay. Oh, he already saw the other. Hudson. 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 Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Into the bushes he goes. You see guys, our sprinklers are broken back here. That's why the grass is mainly brown. Look at how it looks on the screen. Oh my god. Guys, the grass, the sprinklers are broken here. Our HOA homeowners know it. And they keep, you know... Well, what happened was, if you watched our live streams over the summer, we, our sewer broke, our sewer line to the house was broken by the by the roots of our tree and it also broke the sprinklers. We're back here. But they haven't fixed so they sorry. haven't fixed the sprinkler problem yet. Yeah. Hudson is a pouncing. Yes. Hudson. Throw the ball, hun. Running catch. Woo! Good boy. Yes, I'll have a little chopped broccoli on the pizza. Sometimes Carla will do that for me. And uh, I like uh, in a salad. Nice, Wendy. Oh, let me turn away from HUD. Show you the sunset. It is still bright down here. Yes, there's a stretch of about five houses here, Andy Wood, that all have problems with the sprinkler right now. All have problem with the sprinkler, that guys. It's really dry, guys. Yeah. It guys, hasn't that much. we really appreciate you hanging out with us in Florida, let alone hanging out with us doing a puzzle in Florida. Yeah, it was really. Hope great. you enjoyed Emily Post trivia. Next week is New York trivia. Exactly. Get uh, vis a vis Stephanie Stern. Right. So next week we'll be finishing the camera puzzle and starting another. And starting another puzzle. And should we give a hint to what puzzle it's going to be? Sure. It involves music. That's all I'm going to say. Music. It involves music. Yeah. So thanks so much, guys. Here's Hud Hudson. We're going to play with Hudson. All right. One we're more. chopping broccoli. Hi. Here we go. Thanks, ARB. Thanks, everybody. Thanks again, Dolly Girl Twins. Beautiful puzzle. Thank you, Greg B. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thanks, everybody, for your support. And here's one final. Woo! Nice. <laughs> Good night, there he guys. goes. Good night, thanks. guys.